NASA has discovered a super-Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light-years away, or roughly 800 trillion miles. Astronomers say the planet is about one and a half times the size of Earth, and orbits a small reddish star that is cooler than our Sun. Because a super-Earth orbits such a short distance from that star, a year for that planet is equal to just 19 days on Earth. Scientists looking for life on other planets often refer to the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. NASA has now found a planet that's right in that zone. These planets are very small and extremely difficult to find. When you look up at the night sky, the stars you see are several hundred to a few thousand light years away. The discovery of Proxima b in 2016 captured the attention of many scientists and space enthusiasts. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope in the world, was directed to observe this mysterious exoplanet, resulting in the clearest image of Proxima b ever captured. This breakthrough has left many wondering what secrets this image may reveal and whether this distant planet could support life. The possibilities are both thrilling and vast. For a long time people have been curious about the universe. As technology has improved, it's only natural that humans would want to learn more. To explore time and space, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched specifically to investigate Proxima. The James Webb Space Telescope is currently the most advanced one in space. It can observe incredibly distant objects and surpasses the Hubble Space Telescope in its capabilities. It helps astronomers study the early universe and understand how galaxies, stars, and planets were formed. Scientists analyze the images and data it collects by using its cameras and filters to focus on specific wavelengths of light. The telescope is also examining Proxima b to look for signs of alien life. NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency collaborated to build this telescope, with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center overseeing its development. The Space Telescope Science Institute manages its daily operations. The James Webb Telescope has a large mirror made up of 18 foldable hexagonal segments coated in gold. It collects more light than the Hubble and is particularly powerful in observing infrared light. For optimal performance, the telescope must remain extremely cold, below minus 223 degrees Celsius, so it doesn't interfere with the infrared light it's designed to detect. The idea for this telescope began in 1996 and went through many changes. After a major redesign in 2005, it was completed in 2016. This $10 billion project is named after James E. Webb, who led NASA in the 1960s. It was launched on December 25, 2021, from French Guyana, and reached its position in space by January 2022, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The first image taken by the telescope was released to the public on July 11, 2022. The infrared images it captures are unlike anything seen before. The image of Proxima b showed that the planet receives about 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, making it less likely to support life due to intense stellar flares. Proxima Centauri, a small red dwarf star, had already been under study for potential planets before Proxima b was discovered. Early studies in 2008 and 2009 suggested that large planets were unlikely in its habitable zone. This was unexpected since small stars like red dwarfs often have planets that could support life. Then, in 2013, astronomers observed subtle movements in the star, hinting at the presence of a planet. After years of investigation, a project called Pale Red Dot began in January 2016 to confirm the existence of a planet near Proxima Centauri. In August 2016, Scientists announced the discovery of Proxima Centauri b, located in the star's habitable zone. This discovery was significant because the planet orbits the nearest star system to our own, Alpha Centauri, which is about 4.2 light-years away. When we observe it from Earth, we're seeing how it appeared 4.2 years ago. In 2020, scientists estimated that Proxima Centauri b has a mass similar to Earth's, though its exact size remains uncertain. It could be between 0.94 and 1.4 times Earth's size. Depending on its composition, it might have a large core like Mercury or significant water content. The planet's distance from its star and its orbital period are still being studied, 
Scientists use computer models to make educated guesses based on factors like the surrounding environment, internal heat, rotation, and stellar radiation. Proxima Centauri b likely formed under different conditions than Earth. It may have less water and experienced more intense impacts due to its proximity to its star. It is also thought to be tidally locked, meaning the same side always faces the star. This results in one side being extremely hot, while the other remains very cold. In 2022, scientists found another planet, Proxima Centauri d, orbiting even closer to the star. In 2020, there was a report of another planet, Proxima Centauri c, though its existence is still being verified. Being in the habitable zone does not guarantee that a planet is suitable for life. Because Proxima b is likely tidally locked, it would experience extreme climate conditions. Water on the side facing the star could evaporate, while water on the dark side would freeze. Proxima Centauri, although much smaller than the Sun, has powerful magnetic fields that produce strong radiation and flares. These conditions can make life difficult on nearby planets. Until recently we had limited knowledge of Proxima Centauri's magnetic field. A new study using detailed maps found that Proxima b receives about 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, endangering any potential life. In April 2021, a flare from Proxima Centauri was 100 times stronger than any flare observed from the Sun. Surviving such radiation would likely require advanced shelter. Proxima Centauri is 4.24 to 4.26 light-years away from the Sun, and is part of a star system that includes Alpha Centauri A and B. Gravitational forces in this system may cause Proxima B to drift closer to its star over time. Proxima Centauri is usually too dim to be seen without a telescope, except when flares briefly make it visible. In late 2020, excitement grew when a strange signal was detected from the Alpha Centauri system. The frequency of the signal was unusual sparking interest in whether it could be artificial. The idea of traveling to Proxima Centauri has also been discussed. Ion propulsion, while not powerful like chemical rockets, can gradually accelerate over time. It was used in a mission called Deep Space One, which traveled at 35,000 miles per hour for over 10 months. Still, a trip to Proxima using this method would take about 81,000 years. NASA has also considered nuclear thermal propulsion, which uses nuclear reactions to heat liquid hydrogen for thrust. Though this method could get a spacecraft to Mars in 90 days, a trip to Proxima would take around 1,000 years. The James Webb Space Telescope recently captured lights that appeared to resemble those of a city shining from about four light years away. This has reignited speculation about extraterrestrial civilizations. The telescope focused on Proxima Centauri b the closest exoplanet to our solar system, and detected mysterious bright flashes. Could this be evidence of intelligent life? Many scientists are intrigued by this possibility, as it suggests the presence of organized societies beyond Earth. David Kipping, an astronomer at Columbia University, described Proxima b as a particularly complex planet. Unlike most rocky planets that absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, this one behaves differently due to its unique interaction with its parent star. The discovery emphasizes the importance of the James Webb Telescope. Its ability to detect infrared light played a key role in observing Proxima b's unusual thermal emissions, which helped determine its atmospheric characteristics. Scientists are continuing to study Proxima b's atmosphere. If it has one, the next step is to analyze its chemical composition to see if it can support life. The presence of oxygen, water vapor, and methane would be indicators of habitability. Detecting these elements involves analyzing the light that passes through the planet's atmosphere, a complex process. The telescope is especially good at detecting water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. While it is not best suited for detecting free oxygen, it can identify ozone, which suggests a stable atmosphere. As researchers sift through the telescope's data, the search for life continues. The James Webb Telescope is limited to observing the nearest exoplanets. For more detailed studies, astronomers will rely on large ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, which will provide more detailed data on the atmospheres of distant worlds. Looking ahead, scientists are working on developing telescopes that can block out starlight to better observe the planets around them. 
This technique is like using your hand to block the sun and see more clearly. Stars are much brighter than their planets, which makes observing the faint reflected light from planets very difficult. To address this, astronomers are creating new tools. One is the coronagraph, placed inside the telescope to block starlight while allowing planetary light through. By shaping light waves, coronagraphs reduce glare and make it easier to see dim planets. Another innovation is the Starshade, a large flower-shaped spacecraft that flies in formation with the telescope. It blocks starlight before it even reaches the telescope, letting only planetary light pass. This technique could be useful for studying planets in the habitable zone, where liquid water and life might exist. Dr. Metasudan's team uses the James Webb Telescope to observe K218b, another promising alien world. Observing this planet requires five hours of observation over two sessions. During a transit, when the planet moves between its star and Earth, the telescope captures light passing through the atmosphere. This light is analyzed like a fingerprint. By separating it into different wavelengths, scientists can identify specific molecules. Missing wavelengths in the spectrum provide clues about the planet's chemical composition, helping scientists build a detailed picture of its environment. These ongoing efforts continue to expand our understanding of the universe and move us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone?